I'm Nkrumah, University of Science and Technology, and currently we are at the Royal Parade Grounds. We are interviewing students uh, to know how well they know Apostle Joshua Selman, if they've listened to any of his messages, and how the message has been a blessing to them. My name is Ebenezer Mwakwenchi, and I'm going to be your host on this program. So follow me and let's enjoy this interview. Thank you. <laughs> There are realms beyond science. There are realms beyond physics. There are realms that only intimacy can take you there. Please believe us, hear me. I speak to an intellectual generation. I respect your intellect, but there are realms and virgin dimensions in the spirit that it takes hunger and a press that men can access power Power that science cannot explain. There are dimensions of grace. I'm telling you there is a generation. Every generation will not fail. I assure you there is a generation that will get it. There is a generation that will get it. There is a generation that will get it. It is a hunger in the heart of God. Every generation will not miss it. Please watch your name. Please, I'm Hagar. Hagar. And I'm he, Dockers. Okay, so for someone is having his birthday celebration on 25th of June. And so we are asking, how long have you met Apollo Bishop Solomon? Okay, for me, I've I've not met him like physically, but I've been hearing of Apostle Joshua Soma and then it for a quite long but just on phone then maybe friends that used to post his sermon then things but i think it's almost close to four years but i was hearing i wasn't actually listening to his videos and stuff but right now i think i've started yeah, so now you are in love with his sermons eh? okay. wow <laughs> that is good please how long have you met our uh, head of apostle Selma? okay so to me i heard of his sermon that was 2022 last year when i came to campus i saw my friend posting it and he posted a video of him saying that anytime your friends leave you at a point don't stay there and be crying because no one will come for you you are on your own so you have to pick up yourself and move on and one thing he also said was that when others are sleeping at midnight that is a time you a christian you must get up and tell god that I, i'm planning that the whole of this hours, the whole, let's say two or three hours, I'm going to dedicate this time for you. You want something impactful. You want something that God should do it for you. Don't just sleep and be praying that God do it, for, but dedicate some time so that you will use that time to pray fast and pray so that it, you will achieve what you've got. And I think that message has moved me to a different level. A different level. So please. In what way has Apostle Simon been a blessing to you? Okay, I actually listened to one of his sermon that he spoke on prayer. Okay. Prayer. So that was about, um, I think, a year ago. Yeah, that was my first year on campus. And I hope it, it has been a blessing. It has been a blessing to me because most of the times I used to pray, but my prayer can only be like five minutes. I'll start then along the way, then sleep will <laughs> come inside. But he actually spoke and made um, some key points that gingered me. Like when you are to pray, we have a strategy we use in praying. You have to quote the Bible, quote scriptures to support. That will make your prayer more powerful. So I think that message really helped me a lot. And right now, I can boast that I'm now yeah. <laughs> a, a prayer warrior. Our first has gingered hair. <laughs> that is so amazing. So, as I said, 20 feet is his birthday. What message do you have for him? Happy birthday to you in advance. And I pray that God will continue to empower you. He will continue to give you more utterances so that it wouldn't only transform we Ghanaians, but it will go beyond the boundaries. And God bless you for your motivational ways. Thank you. Please, uh, what? Your okay. Happy birthday to Apostle. And we pray that God will put more anointing on him so that he'll be able to transform our lives. Yeah. Amen. God richly bless you so much. So as one of us said that 
she saw the message on someone's status so for those of you who have been watching the videos make sure that you share them post it to your friends and you believe it's going to be a blessing hear me the order of isaka is the survival pattern for the last days you need to master the art of spiritual perception. You must be so close to the Holy Ghost that you can, you can perceive the impulses of the Spirit. This looks like an open door. But I don't know why there is a restraint in my spirit. Even though it's a great door, please keep it open. Let me go back to God. God, what do you have to say? And you stay there till he speaks. You don't let your tiredness answer you on behalf of God. And so I have some two fine gentlemen. I have my brother in the, the nice fugu and his senior man to uh, drink him, his, uh, <laughs> his bottled water. Uh, please, what's your name? My name is Derek Hosey. Okay, please, what about you? I'm Bright Sumpo Serenye. Okay, so 20 feet is Apostle Joshua Selman's birthday. And we want to know how and when did you meet Apostle Joshua Selman? Well, I met Apostle... Uh, Joshua Selman, I think two years now, and and that was on YouTube. I was just watching random videos, and um, um, a sermon of uh, his popped up. So I took time to to listen to the um, uh, to watch the video and listen to the message in the video. So that was my first, I think, two years now. So now, if if I get you, then that is going to be in the year. 2021 yes, right please. yes please yes please okay that's so nice please uh how and when did you meet apostle selman um i i met him in 2020 um it was, it was actually um, a referral from a friend one of my mentors wow. um what happened was that i learned under him and so he's um sort of um so i say a religious man <laughs> so he's into um the the business of god and so he referred a sermon of Apostle Joshua Selman to me. Um, the sermon was about um, kingdom wealth. That was what he referred to me. And so I took time to listen to it. And I love the message. And so from then, I took time to also personally listen to his messages. So that was in 2020. Okay, so that's during the COVID time when people were chilling. You were in there soaking Joshua Selman. That is so nice. So how has or you shall someone being a blessing to you um apostle has been a blessing to me in so many ways in fact and i don't really know the tangent where i should go in general he has been a blessing his his messages have, have actually improved my prayer life and also has changed uh, um my my mindset how i used to perceive things how i used to see things now i begin to see things in the spiritual way yeah, uh, those days I used to live in the, I, I mean, in the humanity form, okay. in the carnal way. But now I've realized that everything is spiritual through um, apostles' messages. So he said that everything is spiritual. Apostle who said that life is spiritual. How has he been a blessing to you? Um, personally, the main thing I have gotten from him is um, a paradigm shift. He has changed my mindset in terms of personally i listen to him from the angle of um kingdom wealth because i want to be rich of course and so i listen to him i want to be rich in the godly way so he has helped me to transform my mind around the the business of wealth and all that and he has helped me to like my brother said see things more spiritually and that has been very helpful to me right now um every day just this morning i listened to a sermon of his that was talking about um what you need to transform your mind and so he has helped me to transform my mind. I still listen to him and I love the transformation I'm going through. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so you, you talked about kingdom wealth. So have you listened to this message by him, uh, Financial Dominion, part one to part four? Have you heard of that message? Mm, financial Dominion, I don't really know the title, but I think that was the message I got. The, um, what I said, my friend sent to me. Okay. It was um, about wealth creation. I think it was um impacts so i'm guessing that will be it but uh, i can't really confirm yeah, yeah. so if, if if you are watching this video uh the touch of the the message is financial domain is in four it's a four part series part one two three four it's a very powerful message i personally it blessed me a lot so apostle is celebrating his birthday what message do you have for him i wish mm. happy birthday to apostle and i wish him longevity of life and also may he increase in success in all dimensions of his life. 
it should continually impact us with um, um, the gospel and continually changing our mindset towards the kingdom. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Your birthday wish. Um, I would like to say um, happy birthday to you, Apostle. Um, you've been a blessing to thousands of thousands of young people in Africa and beyond. And so on this particular occasion of yours, we just want to say we are grateful for all you've done for us. I want to encourage you that may God continue to impact you and may you continue to impact us in return. So, There are many of you here. God has called you into the healing ministry. But as it is, you have not really seen that dimension, the tangibility of the healing oil. It has not come upon you. I open this jar in the realm of the spirit and in the name of Jesus like Samuel unto David I place that oil upon you receive that grace now this is the centric uh, message if you are watching this video make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel make sure that you click on the notification bell so that when release a new video you can have access to it. so we have a gentleman with us here please what is your name I'm David J David and Jane. Okay, that's so good. Um, do you know about Joshua Selma? Yes, I know Apostle Joshua Selma. And how and when did you know him? Um, I think in the early days of my university life, that is when I met Apostle Joshua Selman. Okay. I chanced on his message on YouTube. And uh, that is when I got to know him as a man of God. Okay, so you met him uh, through uh, YouTube. You chanced on it and... Okay, that's good. So, Apostle Joshua Selman, has he in any way been a blessing to you? I would say a very big blessing. Yes, okay. a very big blessing. A very big blessing. How has he been a blessing to you? Um, there are certain things that uh, I didn't understand. And through his messages, now I understand. And it works. That's the fact. It works. If you stick to what he's saying, and I think personally, these things that I heard from him has been something that have dragged me along till this time. Right now I'm standing, it is because of his message that I even accepted this interview. Because he told us that well, whoever you meet, you have to be friendly with the person because you don't have to be so poor that money is the only thing you have. So that alone is the reason why I came for this interview. Okay, you don't have to be so rich to the point that the only thing you have is money. And so today is Apostle's birthday, 25th, which is Sunday. What what message or what wish do you have for him? Um, Apostle Joseph, someone, God bless you. And I pray that may the Lord help those you are affecting to be as great as you are. And may the Lord increase you greatly. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So, also, also for our bonfire, so Apostle Selman, God should bless Apostle Selman. Yes, so we are still celebrating Apostle Joshua Selman. He, he is a man of impact. He has been a blessing to so many people. So, when you hear these testimonies going on by our friends and our colleagues, it, it tells you that if you've not been serious with Apostle Joshua Selman, the messages he preaches, his teachings, uh, it's time you get serious. Today, people come and they meet me and they say, Ah, Apostle, I am owing. Um, my life, I tell them, relax, please. Have you eaten? No, you don't know that. Have you eaten? This man talking to you as, as I know what it means to be under financial pressure so that we can comfort others with the same comfort. Do not waste your pain. There is a crown that your pain today will put on your head. Abigail. 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 No, I dream pa. Now, are you a Pentecost girl? Oh, okay. So that's what they be saying when it's Abigail. So about no hefe. No, I dream pa. Now, I dream pa. Okay, that's good. So, uh, do you know Apostle Joshua Selma? Yeah. How long have you known him? Okay, SHS. SHS. Uh, so you are in the university now. So you knew Apostle. So which year was that? to know i think that was about completing so when i come for vacation so i listened to him and then Archbishop Dan Camilla and bishop dark yes okay. so i pray with them then it was his birthday one time so he had a broadcast is it like, is it afraid you share someone yes yeah, yeah. so wow I, which year i think 2019 2020 before the COVID. yeah okay so when i completed and i came home yeah so he prayed so we joined 
it's on YouTube, we joined. Then he prayed for everyone that joined. And then I pray, yes, like I just pray with his messages, listen to his messages. So that was how I got to know him. Okay. So, like, per what you are saying, has he in any way been a blessing to you? Very much, because, uh, very much. I don't know. I Uncountable. Yes, because. <laughs> Share some with us. Okay, my prayer life got increased. I got to understand certain systems and principles of the world. Because in, in as much as we walk around, we just walk around and go about our daily lives. But, but there are principles that govern the world. So when he, he normally talks about that discipline. So you realize as a Christian, it's not just about praying and doing everything. So his, one thing I like about him is that he's influence centered because he said he went on a covenant with God. One thing I can remember is he went on a covenant with God that he will not just raise people of just spiritual impact who are spiritually normal as in yes but in order of, of priority your spiritual life matters to him but he wants to raise people of influence yes that's one thing about him that i really like and he prays for all and his way i mean his messages are good i know oh, that's so good so as so I, when is his birthday I know it's in June, but I don't know. Okay, so it is it is twenty fifth June, which is this Sunday. So, are you expecting a birthday broadcast uh, session this year too? Yeah. Okay. He normally does it. So, if there is, I will join. I, I hope you join live, right? Yeah, I will. That's good. So, as he's celebrating his birthday, what what are your wishes or your message to him? One thing I want to say is that, I mean, our generation is blessed to have him. I didn't get to meet Bishop Idahosa, Kenneth Hagan, all these people, like a lot of people, like all these great people of influence. I don't really get connected to them or like Bishop Idahosa, I didn't really get connected to him because I didn't meet him. But we get his messages. But this is a man that during our generation, I know God has raised to help us. One thing I want to say is that he's actually touched my life and I know it's not just me by a lot of people out there. And I want to say that may the Lord continue to bless him. May the Lord keep him for us. And whatever, I don't know, I think he's gotten there, but whatever highest place that God wants to prepare him to, the Lord should open all the nations to him so that people will experience Jesus for themselves. Yes. Amen. God richly bless you so much. As I was saying, Said Apostle is saying that he don't want to raise people who are spiritually sound only, but then influence to they must have it, whether it's at the marketplace, in the business sector, in their schools, in the entertainment industry, in sports, everywhere they find themselves, they have to have that influence. When your tomorrow becomes greater, becomes worse than your yesterday, it is pride. A man's tomorrow should not be like this. No! You know people who are walking in humility because you never see them at the last level you saw them. My name is Enoch. Enoch, 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 Enoch. Okay. Yes, so we are actually looking at the man Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, do you know him? Yes, please, I know him. Okay, so uh, how and when did you come in touch with him? Yes, thank you so much. So I came into contact with Apostle Joshua Selman through some of his videos on WhatsApp, YouTube. Yes, so the first time I heard him, like, I was so much blessed, so, so much blessed by his messages and the kind of, the way he even talks. In the Bible one time, Jesus was asked that with what authority do you talk? And I saw this, this kind of thing in the man and I was really blessed that day, so much blessed. Okay. So please, uh, which year was that? I can't really recall, but then it will be um, during my first year of SHS, so somewhere 2017, yeah, 17, 18. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> then you, you've been with him for long. So how has his ministry or he as a, a minister been a blessing to you? Yeah. Um, his ministry through um that is sharing of the word of god has been so much of a blessing to me i remember sometimes um 
the only thing I need to do is just to go to WhatsApp, click on Apostle Joshua Selman and just listen to his messages. And it has been of so much blessing to me. Sometimes when I'm down, yeah, I listen to him and he gives words from the, not just words of encouragement, but then words from the Bible that built us and that keeps us to our feet. And I'm so, I'm so much blessed. Okay. That's okay. So if, if you are watching this video, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure that uh, you sus I mean you subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so that when new video is being posted you can have access and also if you are watching this video make sure that you share it to someone and let it be a blessed the person so about you as someone is celebrating his birthday what are your wishes to him first of all i thank god for his life i thank god for the life of apostle joshua selman and my number one wish is that even where he has gotten to um he's going he's just going to be the beginning but then he's going to he should expand and beyond boundaries beyond um, um, places beyond the world such that everyone on earth here even the children unborn would listen to him will get to know him and would get to know his ministry and also be blessed like i am god bless you so much sir for being a blessing unto us god bless you so much so this interview is uh being sponsored by christocentric media so if you need a uh, photography service or videography service you can get in touch with christocentric media and they will make sure that they serve you and give you a professional uh service thank you so much what does it take to be a conduit releasing the possibilities of the spirit to the nations? What does it take to bring the counsel of Jesus to the nations? What does it take to be an epitome of the blessing of the Lord? What does it take to find favor with God and with men? The answers to these and more are shrouded in this mystery called the way of God. Yeah, so we, we have uh, our dear sister here. Uh, please, what's your name? Bernice. Sister Bernice. Is it wh when she mentioned her name now? My emotional. <laughs> because I remember someone that. <laughs> okay, good. So please, do you know about Joshua Selma? Yes. Who is he? Um, he's a pastor, I think, from Nigeria. So. Okay, so Apostle is, 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 is a man of God from Nigeria. How and when did you encounter him? Um, somewhere last year. So that is uh, 2022, right? Yeah. So how? Uh, my roommate, Elom, she, she's obsessed with his preachings and all that. So we used to watch his videos on YouTube. Sometimes we see some people start and all that. Okay. Yeah, that's how I met him. Met him. Yeah, so looking at watchers, you are saying that you've been watching him both on YouTube and WhatsApp status. So in all this thing you've been doing, has he in a way been a blessing to you? Oh yes, because some of his preachings actually say a lot, like things he didn't even know, like was Bible related and all that. You get to hear that in his preaching. Also, he teaches about being grateful for everything. Most of his preachings are about being grateful and all that. And that really impacted my life. Okay, so uh, you have to be grateful to people. I mean, don't just say, that was one man of God said that uh, God, God alone is not enough. You have to be grateful to people as well. Good. So, Apostle is celebrating his birthday. Uh, birthday message to him. Okay. Happy birthday, Pastor Joshua Solomon. We pray for long life, prosperity, and success. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you find a combination of Daniel, Bezalel, and Joseph in your organization, it cannot go down. Combine such people. Then add Esther there. Then add Elijah somewhere. Ah, who again? Gideon. Imagine you have a staff structure made of Gideon, Esther, Elijah, Abba, Joseph, Daniel. Show me the devil that brings that ministry down. Show me the devil that brings that organization down. What Esther cannot do, Elijah is waiting. And what Elijah cannot do, Joseph is waiting. Let me tell you the truth. Gifted people are a real blessing. Yes, so we have another gentleman. I mean, I'm seeing some E equals to MC to the power two. Uh, so this guy is a physics student, right? Not really. But I'm seeing some physics students. I'm just in love with the physics stuff. Oh, really? Okay. So you are not even a physics student? No. 
But you like mathematics, two of us. I do. Yeah, because see, this shows you like mathematics. Okay, that's just by the way. So please, uh, do you know Apostle Joshua Selman? Yes, I do. Who is Apostle Joshua Selman? Apostle Joshua Selman is a man of God. He preaches so well, touches my heart whenever I hear him preach and his sermons so powerful. Yeah. He's from Nigeria, I know. Okay, okay. That, that is so true. So now, with Apostle Joshua Selman, how and when did you get in touch or encountered him? I would say two years ago, I've heard uh, of his message on uh, one friend was playing and I listened, but I didn't know he was the one. Not until I got another friend, I got into contact with another friend who we were discussing Bible matters and she said, okay, then let's listen to this message by Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, he was actually teaching about marriage and and so we, we had to take a piece from that message to conclude our lesson. That's how come I get to, or I got to know him very well. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Okay, so that is so great. So, how has he been a blessing, or how has he impacted your life? I will say that um, recently, I was looking for answers to certain questions, and um, I I saw one of his message on a friend's start, and it was he says, "Can I tell you, no man seeks God and loses." And so far, I will say that I've been hearing all his messages, but this particular one has impacted me so much that no Christian will ever lose. The fact that you didn't get it today doesn't mean you will not get it. He, he actually wants to put you at the higher place where you are seeking the smaller things. So it has impacted me so much and I love to hear him every day speak. So now that I'm going to the library, before I even start, I would want to listen to... Oh my God! Before, before I start, yes. Wow, yes. The, this guy is saying that even before he, he studies, he have to soak some message before he, he learns. That's so great. So today, um, that's twenty fifth of June is Apollo Joshua's birthday. What are your wishes to Apollo Joshua Selman? Hmm. Um, I will say that I'm praying for God to give him much more anointing than he is carrying now and God bless him so much, increase him in ministry and in every aspect of his life so that he becomes a great impact to the whole world. That's what I want to wish Apostle. God bless you so much. For some of you, be careful what you are praying for. Transfer that prayer into your future and be grateful for what God is doing now. Lord, I'm praying if, if I do not make 10 billion, let me help you. You are not wrong. You are not a sinner. It's just the wisdom you need. Because the way God works, he does not jump you from being a broke person to have 50 billion. You cannot have 50 billion without being friends with government and certain people. There is a network that will have to maintain that level of cash flow. There are many things we do not know. We just claim things blindly. And preachers, it's good to pray for people, but we must teach them wisdom. So we stop mocking ourselves in church and making a fool of ourselves. God gives speed. God makes great. But there is a process. Final scripture. Look. <laughs> we have, someone is saying share the link. Yeah, so please, if you are watching this video, make sure you share the link. If you don't share the link, you are not doing well. Yeah, so we have a uh, cute... Lovely sister here. Please, what's your name? I'm Sharon. Sharon! So, who is Apostle Joshua Selman? Oh, he's an apostle to me. Actually, I got to know him through TikTok. I've been watching his TikTok videos and stuff. And it has really imparted my life. I've really learned a lot. Sometimes I'm talking about marriage, how to live a life, how to make good friends and, and whole lot. And I've really learned a lot. So good. So, um... Which year did you meet or encounter him? Okay, I'll say 2017. Oh my goodness. I, I met Apostle in 20, late 2018. Really? Yes, that was first year. By then, we, we've, we've had some demonstration, you know, those were hala that happened. So <laughs> that was when I got to know. Oh, wow. That's so good. Yeah, so you were talking of. He has impacted you. you talk about marriage, I mean, friendship and stuff. Yeah. So what are some of the things you've taught about marriage 
Uh, that has been a blessing to you. Okay, it taught us that sometimes we shouldn't be forced to enter into marriage because we feel like um, the guy is going to leave you just because you are not, you know, the speck or something. You should just feel free and then make right choices in life. And then also, as a lady, when you enter into marriage, you shouldn't depend on only the guy. You should also work hard to take care of yourself and take care of some of the needs in the house. Okay, so ladies... A uh, lady is talking to us. Said Apostle said that uh, if you are with a man, make sure that you also get something to support the man. Yeah. Don't depend solely on that man. So, marriage. Are you married? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she's not married. So, please, um, birthday wishes to Apostle Joshua Selman. Okay, I want to wish him a happy, happy birthday. May God bless him so much for all his messages that has imparted deeply. Oh, I'm very grateful for his messages. And I want to say that may God bless him. May he bless his work and then also may he make everything he's doing work for him. Amen. God bless you. Let me tell you this. Determined people don't weep for too long. If they go through something, they can stand, learn from it, readjust, and fire on. Determined people are those that if one door closes, they force another door to open. Listen, don't just, don't just be excited for nothing. This is what it takes to be a champion in the kingdom. Business students. I'm sure maybe by, by the time we are done with this interview, they are going to give me some business ideas before they go. <laughs> okay, so please, who is Apostle Joshua Selman? No, Apostle is a man of God and he has been spreading the word of God. I started um, watching his videos through my friend's status and I followed him on um, his various um, social media platforms. Yes, he has inspired my life. He talks about the Holy Spirit and also. Uh, sermon, um, his sermons about prayers actually encourage me how to pray, when to pray, times and seasons. And yeah, yeah so talking about prayer, have you listened to this message by him? Teach us to pray. He did a series on prayer, teach us to pray. Have you chanced yeah, on that I, message? I, I've, I've seen it, but actually, I was new. Okay, so I, I recommend that message. Uh, it's uh, I think that message was preached, uh, teach us to pray. Uh, that would be 2020 or 2021. It's it's a three-part series, part one, two, three. Okay. Teach us to pray. It's a very, very powerful message on prayer. So how, uh, which year did you meet him? Uh, let me see, 2019. 2019? So that we are looking at four years or something, right? Oh, that's amazing. So how has he been uh, blessed or how has he impacted your life? I think you see sometimes um, being Christians you become kinda and when I I hear his sermons it encourage me in some things that I've been so dull about. Sometimes my prayer lines will not be effective as it was at first. But listening to his sermons about prayers it encouraged me, you no, know, I need to keep on praying and also studying the word of God. I need to keep on praying and study the word of God. Birthday wishes to Apostle Joshua Selman. Um, happy birthday, Apostle. I pray that the God of hosts will extend your territory for the whole world to hear the good works that you are doing. And I pray that even with or without your presence, when we hear your sermons, we, we even when we even hear your voice, it encourages us and it motivates us to keep on still in the Lord. So I say, may the Lord give you strength to do the work. I know it's not easy. And I also pray that may the Lord give you health and those who will pray for long life. So that Apostle will be there and we will be blessed by his sermons. Apostle, God we should bless you. Amen. Our life. Amen. So as is a, what, what my doc has. Yes. You've heard a lot about Apostle Selman. 25th is his birthday. Your wishes to him. Happy birthday to you. God richly bless you. God bless your work. May you be great. Yes. And may you, may your teachings and whatever you do impact more lives and then change lives. Every family that is under demonic siege.
kept in one place no movement no progress right now the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout jesus again lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout jesus i'm didi oh the day <laughs> please who is about you shall sell me um he's a he's a man of god he's a pastor who is impacting a lot of lives in ghana okay. in, in the world as well okay that's good so Pastor has been a blessing to the people of Ghana as well. So it's not only in Nigeria, yeah, in Ghana and other parts of the world. Apostle has been a blessing. So please, how and when did you meet or encounter Apostle Joshua Selman? Okay, I haven't really met him in person. Okay. But I have seen his sermon on YouTube, his sermons on YouTube, and on people's statuses as well. Okay, yeah. well, so when, when was the first time you saw any of his messages? I was actually on someone's status. Okay, yes. which year was it this year or last year? Last year. Last year. So that has been less kind of a year or less. Okay, that's good. So has his messages or teachings in any way been uh, helpful or blessed your life? Yes, a lot. A yeah. lot, especially about his message, his sermon on Facebook. I'm actually a Facebook. Okay. And so I took a lot from that. And I'm hoping that it will change my life as I grow. But can I tell you this? I don't mean to scare you but Africa listen to me if you are a firstborn listen to me if you are a first male listen to me if you are a last child listen to me if you are a breadwinner listen to me if you are the one who lifts up the head of your family listen to me Satan he attacks but there is a protocol to the attack so much ignorance in the body of Christ don't you think I'm wasting your time if you are the first to be educated the first for your head to be lifted in your family the first go and read the Bible about the laws firstborns not just the first to come out of the womb the first to do anything in life do you know why because the first of anything is the seed and the pattern the first to open a door for a family is the first to create the pattern the first to break out of poverty you think the devil will fold his arms and watch you the first man of god from your village the first man of god from your family the first professor the first married man the first married woman Can you share one lesson you learned from the firstborn message? I've learned that as a firstborn, um, you don't have to do anything that will, um, I mean, how do I even say it? You, you, are, you are the firstborn, you are the first fruit, okay? okay? And so you are supposed to bring good things into your family. And so you have to work towards that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so if you are listening to this video and you are firstborn, apostle did that message i think that firstborn message uh, was he was talking about uh commanding the supernatural i think that would be the uh either part two part one or two he talked about that uh, of firstborns yes and he said a lot as i was saying if you are firstborn uh, you are a first fruit in the family and every pattern that you create your your siblings follows yeah okay good so today um 25th is apostle joshua Selman's birthday uh birthday wish uh, to him okay so happy birthday to apostle joshua Selman. we pray that god uses him for greater things and you will extend his um blessings to all other people in the whole world yes okay thank you so much please if you are still watching this video make sure that you subscribe to the youtube platform my name is Ebenezer Mokwenchi uh, should I say I have gates or there's a bush canteen here okay anyways now we have uh, a gentleman that's here uh, uh, an audacious gentleman what is your name I go by the name Joshua Christian 
Oh, Joshua Asian. Joshua Kweku Insi. Joshua Kweku Insi. I mean, Kweku. <laughs> okay, so Joshua, who is Apostle Joshua Selman? Well, um, I know he's an apostle of the kingdom and he's doing mighty works for God. Yes. Okay, so in this class, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, our brother knows Apostle Joshua Selman as an apostle of God who is doing massively for God's kingdom. Please, uh, how and when did you encounter Apostle Joshua Selman? Well, it, it was through a friend. Yeah, she actually told me about him, and I also went to look out for some videos about him, and I was really blessed by them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, which year was that? How, which year did you get in touch with him? 2021. So that's kind of it's been about two years since you got in touch. So getting in touch with Apostle Selman listening to his messages on TikTok, on Twitter, Instagram, you can name the platforms. How has he been a blessing or how has his life impacted you? Oh, well, I can say it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Videos I've listened to have been a blessing. Yeah. Okay, he has been a blessing to you. And I, and I believe after this interview, you're going to listen to him even the more. Yeah, because he is a blessing, as you were saying. So, uh, 25th is his birthday. Uh, your birthday wish or message for him. Okay, so, great man of God, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Yeah, the Lord bless you mightily. More grace and more oil for mighty exploits for Jesus as we are in these last days. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, amen. amen. Well. And long life as well. Amen. So, our brother wish upon you, your sermon. A long life. My name is Ebenezer Amakwenchi. Please, if you are watching this video, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube platform. And make sure that you share the video to someone. Let it be a blessing. Like the video as well. And let's keep moving. So we have a gentleman, nice looking gentleman, humble gentleman uh, with us. Please, what's your name? Um, my name is Ken Mensah. Yeah, final year sociology student. Okay, in KNUS. Yeah, Kwame Kwame University. Yeah, so we are we are speaking, we are privileged to speak with the king <laughs> this afternoon. And so please, uh, who is Apostle Joshua Selman? Um, I Apostle Joshua Selman, I encountered this man on YouTube. Um, Actually, there has been some bloggers who have been uploading his videos about his teachings and everything. And I was one person who didn't actually like praying, but listening to him gave me that um, motivation to, you know, pray. And he liked using this word koinonia, koinonia. I, I didn't know about that, but listening to him about koinonia, and I realized that those words are related to prayer and praying in fact it inspired me uh, a lot in fact i've been listening to him and as, I'm, as i've already said one thing that he motivated me about is oh, to be prayerful as as a student in your academics and basically he also liked talking about my program of sociology like he also know how to relate with human being and he's, he's just a humble man. So what I'll say, he's a very great man and he has inspired me a lot in my uh, Christian life and even my academics, how to be prayerful and how to live a good life. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So he has inspired you. So when, when, which year did you actually uh, got in touch with him? Um, I encountered him when I was in second year. Second year. Yes, yeah, second year in the university. So that, that would be which year? That was around um, 2020. 2020. Yes. So it's it's been long. Yes. Yes. So God willing, 25 June is his birthday. Uh, your, your birthday wishes to him. Oh, okay. Um, I'll say a very big happy birthday to Apostle Joshua Selman, and I pray that God should keep on broadening your knowledge for you to also inspire our life. Uh, so happy birthday. May God bless you. Apostle. May God bless you. I want you to share my.
What's your name? I'm Jeff Adodonko. Um, what program are you reading on KNUST campus? Human Settlement Planning, please. Okay, that's so nice. Jeff Adodonko, today we are talking about the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, please, when did you encounter or meet that man of God? Oh, I met him through Facebook, social media, that is Facebook, yeah. Okay. I listened to his message and he was saying that Adam was not the first person created on earth. Okay. And I decided that, let me listen to that message so, more. So, so you, you could see that the caption uh, enticed you to click on it, right? Good. Uh, so, wh when was that? Which year uh, did you uh, get in touch or meet him? 2017. 2017? Yeah. Then it means... You are a, a big old student. <laughs> oh, that that's so good. Yeah, so uh, listening to Apostle Selman since 2017 up to now, how has he impacted your life as a Christian? Oh, he's impacted my life a lot. So from 2017, I've been listening to his messages, soaking it. Yeah, he's impacted my life so many ways. At first, I was a, I was a carnal Christian, but listening to him, and put into practice what he teaches. I've improved my Christian life. Good. So he's saying that at first uh, he wasn't uh, living uh, that well as a Christian, uh, but listening to Apostle Joshua Selman, he has been able to come to that uh, knowledge of uh, walking right with God. Good. So uh, 25th is Apostle's birthday. Okay. What are your birthday message or wishes to him? Okay, my birthday wishes. And prayer for him is that I pray that as his days are, so shall his strength be. And God should continue to use him to bless a lot of lives. Yeah, thank you. Great, so we, we have another gentleman. It, it seems that uh, most of the brothers are readily available for this interview than our sisters. Some of them are saying that. I feel shy. I'm shy, shy. Yeah, so the, the brothers are so bold and we, we love it. So if, if, if you're a guy here and you're watching this video, please encourage our sisters for us. We want to hear from them as well. So please, what's your name? I'm Jonathan Muff. Jonathan Muff, please, what program are you reading on campus? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. A pharmacist. Wow, okay. So, uh, we are looking at the man, Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, how did you get in touch with him? Okay, actually, first time that I got to hear his message was from someone's status, my brother. So, when I heard it, it touched me because the message was too powerful. So, from then, I tried to search for his message from YouTube. Then since then, around 2018, 2019, I've been following him. And sometimes at Facebook, I used to search his videos and other stuff. Okay, so which, which year was that? Um, say 2019 specifically. 2019, then it, 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 it means you've known him for a long time. Yeah, so you listening to Apostle Selman for let's say about four years or let's say three years or more and uh, how has he impacted your life as a christian well truly speaking his messages are too powerful like he speaks about in terms of finance in terms of our spiritual growth in christ so many aspects he does not tackle at one place sometimes what he will be teaching like in normal sense when you take the bible as a normal person you find it a mere thing but how he will explain the things as fun that makes you love the word of god yeah. because i remembered one of the his sermons it was like business aspects he was talking about um Pharaoh's dream that um joseph interpreted like he made me understand that now that i'm there 
is a chance that I have to, I have something, I have to pack it there. There are times which will be coming whereby you won't get that opportunity. And what you have stored is what you are going to use by then. So he tried explaining about how African, we couldn't utilize our gold and those stuff, then they were being taken away by the Europeans. And now we are in this state. So in total, I would say he has been a, a blessed person in my life. Yeah. Oh, great, great. So Apostle's birthday is on 25th of June. What are your birthday message or wishes to him? Okay. As a man of God, only what I wish him is first happy birthday. Then the next thing is I wish that God continue to let him grow in wisdom and understanding so that we can also get something from his preaching. Yeah. Okay. So please, we want you to look into the camera and tell them to subscribe to the channel for us. Please can you do that for us? Oh, okay. Apostle Joshua Seman is a man that i will say is called from gold for me so i wish that all christians and those who are not even believing should try their best and subscribe to the channel so that they will be able to follow him and listen to messages of god yeah god bless you so much yeah. so this is christocentric message and please as he said make sure you subscribe to our platform and make sure that you you turn on the notification bell icon so that when new videos are posted you can have access to it thank you one christian blogger are uh, with us here and as you all know we are still talking about the man apologies for someone uh, please what's your name okay please thank you very much my name is opoko richmond and I, I am the ceo of living word tv on youtube i also upload a uh, powerful content from our father apostle joshua selman okay so that's the ceo so what what you do is that um if you're watching this video you can check in the description uh, you see the link to this YouTube channel. Kindly make sure that you click on it. You have you get a lot of apostles' message, short, short ones there, and I'm sure it's going to bless you. So, how long have you known Apostle Joshua Selman? Okay, so I got in touch with Apostle Joshua Selman way back in uh, senior high school. I think 2020, I got to encounter Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, I think I was actually, you know, browsing through the internet, that's YouTube, and I came across one of his messages. I mean, I, I, I mean, prior to that, I hadn't, I mean, known him. And when I, I got in touch with him, it was a video that is titled uh, The Four Mysteries in Prayer. You can check it out. And it's, it's actually very, very powerful. It actually blessed my life and my prayer life was down. And it gave me that fire, educated me on the necessities of prayer, the ABCs of prayer, how to pray, and then even the essence of praying. I was really, really enlightened. And since then, I was like, I've never seen such kind of anointing. And I kept following. And he also kept mentoring me the teachings, the system, the principles everything is very powerful and then you when you follow his teachings you know that indeed you are making a progress in your spiritual journey and then your spiritual growth yeah okay so uh how do i call it <clears throat> now apostle has been a blessing to you and today 25th is his birthday what are your birthday wishes or birthday message for him okay thank you once again uh i would say there was a one time that I was listening to uh, Apostle and I think it was one of his birthday broadcast uh, videos and he said one profound thing is that one greatest gift that you can give him is to pray for him. So even now as I, I, I wish my papa, my mentor, my father, Apostle Joshua Selman a very happy and then a blessed birthday, I also urge each one and every one of you guys watching that you should kindly pray for our papa because the work that he is doing is not actually easy he will need your prayers your supports in every way so i want you guys to kindly pray for apostle not just to wish him but then to pray for him that god should protect him for us because he is one general that we cannot lose even sooner so we pray for good life for good health and then for a very genuine people to be around him as well yeah thank you so much so once again he says that he's a ceo of living word uh, tv on youtube uh, you check the video description. We will link the name of his YouTube channel uh, and the link. Please make sure that you click on it. And also when you click on it, make sure that you subscribe to it and be a part of the family he's building up there on that platform. Please, my name is Ernest. Okay. Uh, I hope I'll be a part of Christocentric, right? Yes. What do you do at Christocentric? Okay, actually, I'm the <laughs> man behind all the videos that I've been uploading at Christocentric Magistrate. 
a message. I do the video editing there. Okay, so video editor, um, can you tell us uh, who who is Apollo Joshua Selman? Okay, Apostle Joshua Selman is a man of God. Okay. A Nigerian man of God, and actually, I get in touch with him way back 2019. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, have you known Apollo Joshua Selman in 2019? So far, how has it been a blessing to you as a Christian? Oh, okay. His messages really bless me. Actually, I always listen to his messages every day when I'm editing the video. <laughs> so I know more of the messages and the titles. People always call me, hey, do you know this title? I'll just say it to them. So that's really blessed me. Okay, so this one is a, an encyclopedia of Joshua Selman messages. When you mention, you can give you the title and send the audio to you. So if you need audio, you can get in touch with him. He will load you with audio. So um, it's Apostle's birthday. What are your birthday wishes or message to him? Okay, I will say a happy birthday to Apostle Joshua Selman. May God richly bless him a lot. Actually, he has been a blessing to us very very much and may god bless him and keep him may his anointing never runs dry may god continue to shower more of anointing on him amen amen god bless you god bless you so much if you are still watching this video make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel and make sure that uh, you turn on the notification bell icon so that when new videos are posted you can have access to it thank you and see you bye, bye. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I don't know how to summarize it. I, I don't know, but in a summary, I will say that he has blessed me. God has used him to bless me spiritually, physically, emotionally, relationship, financially. Like, I don't know what to say, but all I can say is that uh, Apostle has been a blessing to me and if uh, you are watching this video right now and you are not taking the teachings of apostle joshua selman serious i will encourage you to do so uh, apostle always keeps saying that uh, followers doesn't partake of the blessing it is those who are uh, part of the family so don't say that I, I am a follower if you follow you not get anything but when you see yourself as a partner when you see yourself as a member of the koinonia family then that is when you are going to be a blessing now if you want to get the official page of apostle selman on youtube you search for koinonia global that is the official page of the ministry you can get full sermons or full services that they have on i mean at at their various services and when you go to um, facebook too you search for koinonia global uh, that's that's the same name too and when you go to instagram too they are there as uh, i think koinonia global or koinonia abuja said these two names uh, you find them there and it's going to actually uh, be a blessing to you and also if you want to get short short messages whether short full kind of other message of apology some some of his old videos uh, you subscribe to Christocentric message. That is where I'm part of that team. Subscribe to Centric Message. We release uh, at least seven videos every single day of messages of Apollo Joshua Selman. I believe that when you take uh, it upon yourself to listen to him always and every day, it's really going to be a blessing to you. And 25th, which is today being the birthday of Apostle Joshua Selman. Uh, I say a uh, happy birthday to you, Apostle Joshua Selman, and I say that God richly bless you. The entire Christocentric team, we are saying that happy, happy birthday to you. May the Lord keep you safe. May the Lord grant you more life. And we pray that, uh, Paul said that, pray for us, that doors of opportunities will be open unto us. And we are praying that doors of opportunity will open to you so that you can keep on preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and win more people from the kingdom of darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Our uh, sister at something, some birthday wishes for you. So much, Apostle Joshua Salman. Thank you for the impact that you are making in the body of Christ and in this world. I'm so honored. I'm so grateful to be a part of this team and also um, being an evangelist and sharing your messages. You're so much a blessing to me and to the entire body of Christ. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday, Apostle. God bless you. God bless you. This interview session was sponsored by Christocentric Media. So what they do is that they do, they shoot uh, photography, be it when any event, you get in touch with them, they'll make sure they do that for you. And also if you have any video production that you want them to do, be it a product, a wedding, any event, you need a video, you can get in touch with them. And also if you're a Christian, you need a logo or a flyer for your brand, uh, you see, nowadays, uh, flyers and logos speak well. And so we, we have professional graphic designers among the team that uh, will be able to design a nice, uh, catchy and appealing, I mean, logos and flyers for you to make sure that you get more clients to come to uh, have deals with you. Thank you so much. You can get in touch with them on 546 26 546 26 87 19 christocentric media is there for you bye bye what a blessing you have been that is all we know because after listening to this message we believe that god has visited you in your house and so here subscribe to this channel for me like this video and share be an evangelist again because i believe that god has visited you and you also have to visit someone thank you